WEST 2 WAS FIRST TO REPORT LAST WEEK THAT A FORMER CHRISTIAN SCHOOL TEACHER ACCUSED OF POSSESSING AND DISTRIBUTING CHILD PORNOGRAPHY ALLEGEDLY MOLESTED TWO STUDENTS AT THE SCHOOL IN SOUTH DAYTONA, EVEN THOUGH OFFICIALS THERE HAD PREVIOUSLY SAID NO STUDENTS WERE VICTIMIZED. WE'VE SINCE LEARNED 42-YEAR-OLD MATTHEW GRAZIATI HELD AN UNAUTHORIZED SCHOOL SLEEPOVER LAST SUMMER. CLAIRE METZ JOINS US LIVE NOW FROM WARNER CHRISTIAN ACADEMY WITH THE INFORMATION YOU'LL HEAR ONLY ON WEST 2. Right, Warner Christian administrators, church leadership didn't know that several students were allegedly molested right here on campus until we told them about it last Thursday. South Daytona police are investigating. And they didn't know about the sleepover event at all until the FBI arrested Matthew Graziati. This was a totally unauthorized event. Pastor Steve Birch says anything scheduled by the church school for the school at the school must be approved and placed on the calendar. But when former fifth grade teacher and summer camp director Matthew Graziati invited nine students to spend the night on campus last summer, the pastor says Graziati didn't get anyone's permission. This event was not on our calendar. We did not know it took place. And I know that sounds crazy, but this is a 150,000 square foot building with a lot of activities taking place here. Graziati was a longtime trusted employee, a familiar face. He ran summer camp activities constantly around the kids and with keys to the facilities. Being on campus at night, not unusual. And unbeknownst to the administration, Graziati sent home permission slips to the parents of the children, junior counselors, invited to spend the night as a thank you for their efforts. He would have uh, been suspected if he had not followed regular procedure of getting permission. And by doing that, it kind of made it seem safe and, uh, and legitimate. But police say it was anything but safe. The FBI allegedly found images on Graziati's home computer of him molesting several 13-year-old boys as they slept. The uh, kids got to stay, watch uh, movies, uh, have pizza, and then um, sometime during the night, uh, they were victimized. The pastor says he's devastated. A teacher allegedly betrayed the children, families, colleagues, the faith, in part, right here. It's a very, very hard thing to understand, but there's a lot of evil in the world. And this is certainly one of the great ones. Back live now, church and school leadership are taking steps to ensure no one can ever operate on campus in a void, as Matthew Graziati allegedly did. Meanwhile, this investigation is ongoing with the FBI, the state attorney's office, Volusia County Sheriff's Department, South Daytona, and Edgewater Police all actively involved. We're live in South Daytona, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.